The function f of x is given by the equation f of x is equal to 3 times the quantity x squared plus 2. The values for the quadratic function h of x are shown in the table. So one thing to think about here is we have two different ideas going on. This is f of x and h of x has their values here. Which statement about the y-intercept of f of x is true? So in this question, it's very important for us to look at it from the correct perspective. So we need to identify everything based off of, okay, so what's f of x doing in relation to h of x? So I guess we need to think about where the y-intercept is. When we have the coordinate axis, the y-intercept is going to be here. As a point value, the x value is going to be 0, and then you have whatever the y is. This is a quadratic, so it's going to look something like this, that sort of thing. Um, but really, what you have to know is the x value is going to be 0, and then the matching y value is the intercept. So for h of x, I can see that when x is 0, the y, the h of x, is negative 6. So I may make a note to myself that h of x, the y-intercept, and I kind of put equal there, but that's kind of a misleading statement, is, is negative 6. That's the y-intercept. For f of x, I need to figure it out still before I can move on. So how do I do that? Again, I said 0 is the value for x, so I can just substitute in a value of 0 here. If you have nothing times itself, it's still nothing. So this 0 becomes 0, and 0 plus 2 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So f of x is equal to 6. So we need to figure out how far away this is from this. First off, you may want to make a couple notes over here to say that this one is more. Or it's above. Incidentally, this one would be less. It's below. The reason is the wording that they use is very important. They'll always try to trick you into picking the wrong thing. That's just how they are. In this one, at least they were nice enough to give you different number values, but a lot of times they'll give you the same exact answer and they'll change above to below and then you'll miss it because, I don't know, they're mean? Who knows? That's just the way it goes. So to get from negative 6 down here all the way up to positive 6, it's going to take me 6 to get to here and then 6 more there, and 6 plus 6 is 12, which I know you know. I'm just putting all that out for you. So I can say it's 12 more, or it's 12 above. This one's 12 less, 12 below. It is 12 units above the y-intercept of h of x. So the answer to number 9 is m. Now, when you do this problem, the, I really didn't need to explain all that much, but when you do it, just make sure that you have some note somewhere on your paper if you are writing things down, um, the relationship between the two. If one is more than the other, make a note that it's more. That way you don't pick the wrong order. This question itself didn't really dive into that as much, but they generally put a question on the test that's like that, which is rude, but that's where we are. So make sure that you do that. If you need to find the y-intercept, remember that means the x value is 0. On the graph, you can figure that out graphically. Uh, you can, in table form, you want to find where x is 0, and that's the y. And then if you have the function, just substitute the value of 0 in for x, and you can find the matching y value to find your intercept.